on, on Ghana tonight on this. And there's more of this on 3news.com. Let's stay it's on the issues of law. Because coming up next, the Attorney General and Minister of Justice, Godfrey Yabu Adami, would not allow the minority leader, Dr. Kesla Tofosin, and businessman Richard Jakba walk free as yet as he heads to the Supreme Court to appeal against the acquittal in the ambulance trial. On what grounds exactly? We're going to run you through that shortly to give you an idea of exactly what the uh, Attorney General is uh, going to the Supreme Court with respect to this grounds of appeal. And as a matter of fact, uh, this was expected because the Attorney General had indicated right after the, the decision by the appeals court to acquit and discharge the minority leader and Richard Jopper, the businessman in this case. Now, the AG says, you know what, Supreme Court, I'm bringing you on this matter. Take a look at it. Attorney General's notice of appeal was filed on August 8, today, today, um, against the majority decision and, and its consequential orders of acquitting and discharging these accused persons. I'm talking about Dr. Kesla Tufosin and Richard Jaguar. These are the grounds of the appeal by the Attorney General. First of all, so the majority of the Court of Appeal misdirected itself in applying the fundamental principles regarding the standard of proof required in determining whether a case has been made. Two, he says the holding by the majority of the Court of Appeal, and, and when he makes a reference to the majority, you recall the Court of Appeal ruling had a 2-1 majority. So he was referring to the, the majority's position on this Court of Appeal ruling that the establishment of the letters of credit did not constitute payment under the contract is contrary to the clear evidence in the case and untenable. Also, it says the Court of Appeal majority is holding that the Ministry of Health default caused financial loss to the state and not the act of the first accused in authorizing the establishment of the letters of credit was laden with fundamental errors and occasioned a substantial miscarriage of justice. Also, the majority decision failed to appreciate and correctly apply to the evidence the essential ingredients of the offenses with which the accused persons were charged. As a matter of fact, there's quite a lot of the grounds of appeal that the Attorney General is going to the Supreme Court to quash the Court of Appeals acquittal and discharge. And thankfully, we have one of the lawyers of Dr. Kesela Tofosin, who is uh, the first accused in this case, joining us on Zoom. Lawyer Eduji Tamaklo is also Director of Legal Affairs of the NDC. Lawyer Eduji Tamaklo, appreciate your time. Good evening. Thank you for joining us here on Ghana tonight. If you can unmute yeah. for me and, and please sit back a bit for me, that'll be great. Um, perfect. So uh, while we, we, we are at it, there's a number of grounds that the, the AG is going in to, to, to seek. Uh, if, no, I cannot, I cannot hear you. If you can mute for me, that will be great. No, can no, you hear me? I can hear you clearly. I can hear you clearly now. Yeah. Great. And, and one of the grounds of appeal that the Attorney General is going to the Supreme Court with is the matter of the letters of credit. Um, that he says that to the extent that the majority um, that is ruling indicates that the letter of, of credit does not constitute payment is not consistent with what exactly happened. I want to find out what your position is on this, and I'm sure you've seen the grounds of appeal that the AG is going to the Supreme Court with. Okay, so in fairness, we've not been served in a process. I saw it online. I mean, I mean, this is basically a face saving um, initiative by Godfrey de Guadame because he doesn't even know what he's talking about. First of all, if what you are reading is anything to go by, he brought five witnesses to court. The former Minister of Health, Kwekwajimami, he brought an official from Bank of Ghana. Those were his witnesses. Now he says, when the court, I mean the majority, found that the letters of credit were not paid, it was contrary to what was on record. Meanwhile, his own witness, Marquis, from Bank of Ghana, and across his nation, this is what he said. And I just want to read. 
So we all know how Godfrey has taken an initiative, a misadventure. He wastes everybody's time. This is what happened under cross examination. So you agree with me from the explanation of letters of credit that a letter of credit in itself is not payment. Will you not? Now listen to Godfrey's own witness. Yes, my lady, but letters of credit guarantees payment. That's his own witness. He should stop wasting everybody's time. Look, you see, we have an attorney general who has no benefit of shame. I'm sure when God created him, he didn't give him any modicum of shame. And but, 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 let, let if you could sit back a bit for me, I still have a challenge. Is it better? It's perfect, perfect. Now, he, he is going to court with specific grounds of appeal. And you say you are yet to be served officially. But then again, you have seen it. And so yeah, if he so talks it, about that... It's the, all over. At least he gave it to media. So if he talks about the, the majority decision failing to appreciate and correctly applying to the evidence the essential ingredients of offenses with which the accused were charged. That's his position on it. And for you as... as but as but a... I'm, I'm just telling you that you see, when you go on appeal, by way of public education, when you go on appeal, mm -hmm. the appellate court is put in the position of the trial judge. So when you go on appeal, you are not going to introduce any new thing. It is what transpired at the court below. That is the trial judge, the high court. That's what you are carrying to the Supreme Court. And you are telling the Supreme Court that this is what happened. And that the trial judge applied the law correctly. So maintain the position of that prior judge. And I'm saying that the attorney general brought five witnesses to court. The five witnesses that he brought to court, they were subjected to cross-examination. He brought an official from Bank of Ghana. Under cross-examination, it was put to him that you would agree with me from the explanation of letters of credit, that letters of credit itself is not payment. And the man says, yes, my lady. So now that you are the Supreme Court, are you going to change this answer there? Look, let nobody waste our precious time. Godfrey de Boadame had his day. He blew it. And let him face the consequence of it. I see. Well, I, pers I personally do not even want to waste my time on this matter. He has decided to appeal it. It is within his right. Let him go ahead. We have always maintained that the Honorable Case Lato Paulson is innocent. And I have always said, and with my knowledge of the law, that let no Ghanaian ever, ever be taken to a set persecution in the name of criminal trial. It should never happen again. May we never lower the standard in criminal trial because it is at a false. Tomorrow, it may be Alfred or cancer. We should be careful. Well, so you are ready. To, to, to face off in court on this, eventually when in you fact, are set. In fact, we have always been ready. Listen, let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. When the trial judge, after the five prosecution witnesses came, and we said we want to do a submission of no case, we went ahead. When the trial judge said she disagreed with us and that we should open our defense, we filed a notice, um, um, a notice of appeal in respect of the ruling on the submission of no case. And we took the extraordinary step in opening our defense. Look, the Honorable Atuposi has nothing, absolutely nothing to hide. He called these witnesses and told the court, 
close my defense. That is what it is. Until when Mr. Jaffa came, opened his defense, then we began hearing that whilst we were in court doing law, Mr. Godfrey de Wadami was in the house of the Supreme Court judge seeking his help to convince the Supreme Court judge's cousin, Richard Jackman, to implicate the Honorable Kessel Atoposi. But like I've always maintained, Atoposi never dealt with Richard Jackman. So on what basis were you even going to him to seek his help? On 25th day of March, at about 10.55 p.m., just around this time, a justice of the Supreme Court called Richie Jackman and gave the phone to Godfrey Wadham to speak to him. Does Godfrey remember the things he discussed with Richie Jackman? Does he? This attorney general has no shame, absolutely no shame. Well, in fact, if he has any modicum of shame, he should even be resigning from that office. Look. Well, he, he's it, not resigning. It, hold on. No, or, or it, Alfredo, can I say, it, I, it, I beg your pardon. It, it, yes. I, 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 I have seen Robert as someone as attorney general. Okay. I saw Nanado Dangre Kupado as attorney general. I saw Martin Amidu as deputy AG. I saw Madame Betty Moore. I saw no other person but Marietta Abreu at your home. I saw my own boss, the Honorable Dr. Dominic Akrotinga, mm -hmm. as deputy. I have never seen an attorney general lower this esteemed constitutional office to this low that I've seen Godfrey Dami does. Well, he, he is, he's getting ready. He's, he's appealing this ruling. He's ready to meet you at the Supreme Court. You're saying you're ready to meet him. He has gone to the Supreme Court to, to as it were, seek to overturn the ruling by the Court of Appeals, which set your client temporarily free. You know, you know, you know, you know, These you know. are rel the reliefs. Uh, Mr. McClough, these are the reliefs. Uh, very briefly and in a minute, mm -hmm. then we'll have to end this. These are the reliefs that he's seeking, that the decision and consequential order of the Court of Appeal dated the 30th of July 2024, acquitting and discharging the accused appellant respondents be set aside and also that your client and, and also Richard Jaguar be ordered to continue with their defense at the trial high court. Those are the reliefs he's seeking. I just pointed out to you, these are safe statements. He just wants to save his face. He's deeply embarrassed. And you see, the unfortunate thing is that, you see, an attorney general should not be emotionally involved in a trial. Because you see, the high office of the attorney general, remember that of all the ministers, the only one that is specifically mentioned in the 1992 Constitution, by reason of Article 88, is that revered office. At least we just got emotionally uh, compared uh, well, person to be there. And, and like I always say, you see, Chenua Achebe said something. Okay. He said, those who spam kennel have been cracked for right. them by benevolent spirits must learn to be humble. Have, have you uh, seen, and, 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 and this is just a quick detour away from this matter, because you have indicated you are yet to be served, mm -hmm. but you are ready to meet the Attorney General in court. But quickly, before I let you go, there's a petition that has also been sent to the IGP concerning this Ejapadia document, which your name has been mentioned in there. The Deputy <laughs> Director of Communications of of the NPP, uh, that is NSO Subempa, is saying that the key players in the NDC, the likes of Dr. Manu Buama, Sabalo Kujoto Ablakwa, Ibrahim Maleba, and yourself, Edigi Tamaklo, have a thing to do with this document. And so he is petitioning the IGP, essentially, to invite you and investigate whether it's indeed the case. Have you seen this? In fact, it was one of your reporters who drew my attention to that. I would be glad that he raised my response publicly. I said, mm -hmm. unless the IGP Dampari has no use for his time, mm -hmm. 
if he has no use for his time, well, maybe now that they have been given a deputy IG, maybe he has a bit of time to entertain, excuse my language, such useless, absolutely useless petition. Well, what is it about? Mr. Akupuado had decided hmm, to generate for himself a family manual. So we, we do not know. Do you, you know the author of this document you say is, is President Kofi? No, no, no. You I'm know coming, the, I'm you know the just, author? Just, you, you've been mentioned in this petition that, that, that me, you should be investigated for the source of this document. <laughs> so if you're, you're just saying... Just, I, I honestly, I never knew that I had a special skill in Clairvoyant. I never knew that I could accurately predict how Akufuad is going to take over key sectors of the Ghanaian economy. Remember, Alfred, the issue of a Japan royalties. You recall, mm -hmm. the book or this document accurately predicted what will be happening with the Ejapa Royalties Limited. How Osako Marco Kofi, who now has a uh, snake, was going to be instrumental in mortgaging our mineral royalties to certain individuals. The PDS, how our ECG will be given to right. some individuals. How key insurance you know, jobs will be given to certain individuals. I never knew. I had okay. this special talent of clairvoyance accurately predicted how Akufuado is going to govern or misgovern. I never knew I had those special skills. So okay. again, like I pointed out, again, like I pointed out, the IGP now has a lot of uh, time on his hand. Now that he has a deputy in charge of we'll, we'll see. So but, you can entertain such a useless well, petition. Well, we'll see. So far, we haven't gotten any response from the IGP on this petition, on this Ejapadia document as yet. But I thank you. Thank you so much for making the time indeed to join us. Uh, thank you so always. Gordon Dijita Maklo is a private legal practitioner. He's a, one of the lawyers for Dr. Kesel Atufosi, the minority leader in this ambulance purchase case, in which the Attorney General has indicated that eventually now gone to the Supreme Court to appeal the ruling by the appeals court, acquitting and discharging Dr. Kessler to force and Richard Jackman. We'll see how things play out on that front as well. But coming up next here on Ghana Tonight, another disappointing moment for renal patients in Accra who now have to find alternative means of getting dialysis because the renal unit at the Kolebu Teaching Hospital has been shut down again. And as a matter of fact, we got to know today that it's been shut down for the past two weeks. That's the information that we, we got today. And this renal unit at the Kolebu Teaching Hospital, it's, it's, been, it's been closed down for all of this while. We'll be joined shortly after this quick break by the leader of the Renal Patients Network. It's our persons living with kidney diseases to tell us exactly what the picture looks like. Stay with us after this quick break.